if you've watched any amount of Holton Wise TV, you've seen a lot of rough looking properties. This is one of the nicer ones. Rents in this market have skyrocketed over the last couple of years. The moral of the story is keep the tenants in your properties as long as humanly possible, especially ones like this who pay on time all the time and treat your house quite nicely. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV. Giving it to you straight. Garfield Heights, y'all. I dig Garfield, and I think you're going to dig this one I got for you. 12417 Park Knoll. I got this one for you guys at 64.9. And this is as much of a turnkey, set it and forget it type of investment you guys can get out here, right? Uh, the current tenants have been in there for quite a while. It's a few year old tenant here, and the house is still looking pristine, as you can see. This is, uh, you know, a pretty nice looking home. Uh, what you see, right, when you guys get into uh, the Cleveland market and investing in a lot of these rental properties, rental properties, in the sub 100, sub 80, sub 70K category, you start to see some rough stuff, right? I'm sure you guys, if you've watched any amount of Holton Wise TV, have seen a lot of rough looking properties. This is one of the nicer ones. That's what happens uh, when you purchase properties in higher grade neighborhoods, right? Like most of Cleveland, most of what you guys see and what we get a huge demand of investors trying to buy is D and C grade assets. Whereas this particular one, uh, I would say is pretty much like a, a low B asset, right? And you you could just see the way uh, that the house is kept up. You could just see the difference, right? And the rent being 875, that was market rent when this tenant was placed in there, but rents in this market have skyrocketed over the last couple of years. So in reality, uh, the market rent in this particular unit is probably 1075. So I'd say at the next lease renewal, I don't know if we'd want to go all the way to 1075 when you get a nice uh, long-term tenant in your property that is taking nice care of your property like this particular one is, you don't really want to have to turn it over. So I'd say we'd probably just want to maybe knock that up to like a 950, 975, maybe a thousand, right? Keep them a little bit under market so they're not motivated to move out, right? Because when the butts remove are removed from your house, folks, that's when the costs uh, occur. Yes, everything looks really nice today as we look at the footage of their property, but you got to remember every house, despite how nice nice you treated it it's going to look a lot different when it's empty right uh what's under the couches what's behind the couches right couches get banged up against the wall things like that right so when you go to rent out a vacant house that looked really good when your other tenants were in there you're probably still going to need to do some type of turnover costs right so you don't want to you don't want to incur that type of cost as a landlord additionally you also have the leasing costs you also have the lost rent for several months right so the moral of the story is keep the tenants in your properties as long as humanly possible especially ones like this who pay on time all the time and treat your house quite nicely so with a price point of only 64 9 875 currently a lot of meat on the bone at least 200 bucks a month this is a very solid nice little turnkey investment the only cost you'll have to incur is some ticky tack point of sale costs when you're investing in uh northeast ohio folks uh every city has their own set of laws and rules and garfield heights is one of the cities that have what's called a point of sale system which means every time somebody has to decides they want to sell their property, they have to have the city come out and do an exterior inspection uh, and the city issues violations that need to either be cured by the seller prior to transferring title to the new buyer or the new buyer has to assume these violations and that essentially means you're like, yes, I will take care of these and if you don't take care of them within the allotted time period, usually about 90 days or so, uh, the city will issue you uh, building code violations, right? And it's just ticky tech stuff, right? I'm sure my guys probably put this on the uh, screen for you here, but just small stuff. Power wash the entire house, uh, repaint the hand roll, uh, handrails, repaint threshold front door, uh, resurface slash paint concrete porch floor, power wash the front porch steps, just little stuff, right? Remove all debris from the property, remove grass from the cracks, and resurface the asphalt driveway. Just minor ticky tack stuff, right, that you just got to take up. Uh, it, it's a double-edged sword with the point-of-sale systems, guys, right? Uh, it's a double-edged sword in that, yeah, it kind of sucks that as landlords, the government could step in and tell us when we have to repair our properties. Uh, it kind of tramples on our private property ownership rights a little bit. That's one thing. That's the downside. But the other side of that is, again, going back to all the C and D quality assets you guys see, uh, see how rough some of those properties and neighborhoods look. Well, 
uh, this particular one looks a lot better, doesn't it? It looks a lot nicer. It's going to be a lot less stressful uh, as a long-term buy and hold rental property, right? And part of that is because the city is is doing this work uh, to ensure the quality of the neighborhood stays higher, right? So it's it's not, you know, it's real estate. There's always give and take, right? You can't have your cake and eat it too. So it's kind of like, you know, what do you want to do here, right? Do you want the nicer property? Do you want the easier to deal with tenant base? Do you want the property that's not being uh, used and abused as hard? Cool, but you're going to have to pay for that. And if you don't, you can go to the C&D assets where you don't have to do that kind of stuff, but you're going to deal with a lot of the riffraff that comes along with that, right? So it's really up to you, your risk profile, and what your wants, needs, and goals are, right? So if you decide that this is the right investment for you, to make an offer, just send it to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If you want to pay cash, cool, include your proof of funds. If you want to finance it, not a problem. This thing's going to have absolutely no problem passing any type of bank appraisal and inspections. Uh, just shoot me the amount you want to offer along with your pre-approval letter. And lastly, if you guys do not have lenders but you need lenders, I got them for you. I got lenders in all 50 states uh, that, well, no. My lenders don't live in all 50 states. You guys live in all 50 states. My lenders will lend to you no matter what state you live in. 25% down, 30-year loans, fixed interest. Additionally, out-of-country folks, we have lenders for you too. The terms are not as attractive as they are to those that live in the USA, but we still got you guys taken care of. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.